guys, it's Sophie. So I'm going to be doing another Man Booker 2018 book review. And I'm excited to share this book with you and I'm going to say now, I've still got three left to read, but I'm going to say that this is the book I would like to win, please. It's Normal People by Sally Rooney and absolutely bloody loved it. I don't know if this is my favourite book of the year, but it's probably going to be in my top five. Uh, it's just a beautiful story. So let's talk a little bit about the, my feeling about it to start with and then about the book itself and anything I loved and anything I didn't like. So I had a weird kind of feeling and relationship with Sally Rooney before going into this book and I had seen conversations with friends near everywhere and heard a lot of people liking it um, and it was a case of the cover completely taking me away from wanting to read that book. I thought it looked really chick litty. And I normally just don't get on with those kind of books. And I kept seeing it and thinking, I'm sure other people like it, but I won't. And I was being a bit book snobby about it, definitely. Um, but I was just sure it was like very holiday read, very not my thing. And I tried a few of those kind of books um, at the same time as Conversations with Friends had come out and I really didn't like them. So I was a little bit bitten, I think, by that and um, didn't end up picking it up. But I had started to hear over time, more and more people I trusted, with books talking about how good conversations with friends is and so i was getting a little bit more excited to read it potentially um but i was only pushed when normal people was put on the man booker long list um, and i thought you know what maybe she is worth a shot um i still haven't read conversations with friends so i can't talk about that one but i'm so glad that i read normal people um it is easily the book that i've recommended to the most people since having read it any any this year like my real life I have been ringing people to tell them to go and buy normal people so what is the book actually about um in essence it's a, it's a character study of two individuals over a period of time that is really what it is there's little plot to it um it is mostly character focused and it's just beautiful um so we have as we begin we have two young people who are both in school in the sixth form um, one of them is called Marianne and she comes from a very wealthy background but from a really quite nasty family situation. Um, they don't get on at all and they're quite abusive to one another really. Um, and she's known as a real weirdo at school and no one really knows what Marianne is like or what she is because she's just such an outcast at school. And Connell is the son of a woman called Lorraine who cleans Marianne's house. And Connell is her polar opposite. He's um, from a poor background, um, but very popular and sporty and, and smart. And he's kind of the, that guy at school, that girl at school, you know, that has absolutely everything going for them, or they seem to at least. Um, and these two um, become connected and um, end up involved with one another. And that all sounds very stereotypical, very romancy and very dull um, and we follow that through their lives and I, I, if I told myself that I wouldn't have cared, I wouldn't have wanted to be involved with it at all but what it is that makes this so brilliant and so worth reading is that Marianne and Connell are real people like they genuinely feel like they exist in this world somewhere and we've just snuck a peek into their lives. Um, they are both flawed but not just a single um, character you know destroying flaw but many flaws in lots of different ways and as they grow up and as they know one another they they become different people over time they the flaws maybe turn into something that then that next group of people is actually seen as a positive um, and maybe they change maybe they do things that we don't expect them to do and we think who are you where, where have you come from and that's the beauty of this is that it's a simple storyline and it could be very boring. It's the kind of thing I'm normally not into at all. Like if you watch this channel, you know that I don't do this um, at all. I hate this in theory, but it was so fucking beautifully done. Um, the writing itself is very sparse. There's no frills. Um, it is very clear and to the point, um, but there, it's just so real. I don't know quite how to kind of describe it. I might try and find just a section for you. So this is just a section from Connell um, when he's at university and has gone to a party. It says, Connell doesn't know anyone at the party. The person who invited him isn't the same person who answered the door and with an indifferent shrug let him inside. 
He still hasn't seen the person who invited him, a person called Gareth who's in his critical theory seminar. Connell knew that going to a party on his own would be a bad idea, but on the phone Lorraine said it would be a good idea. I won't know anyone, he told her, and he said patiently you won't get to know anyone if you don't go out and meet people. Now he's here, standing on his own in a crowded room, deciding whether or not to take off his jacket. It feels practically scandalous to be lingering here in solitude. He feels as if everyone around him is disturbed by his presence, trying not to stare. Finally, just as he decides to leave, Gareth comes in. Connell's intense relief at seeing Gareth triggers another wave of self-loathing, since he doesn't even know Gareth very well or particularly like him. Gareth puts his hand out and desperately, bizarrely, Connell finds himself shaking it. It's a low moment in his adult life. People are watching them shake hands. Connell is certain of this. Good to see you, mate, says Gareth. Good to see you, like the backpack, very 90s. Connell is wearing a completely plain navy backpack with no features to distinguish it from any of the other numerous backpacks at the party. Uh, he says, yeah, thanks. Gareth is one of those popular people who's involved in college societies. He went to one of the big private schools in Dublin and people are always greeting him on campus like, hey Gareth, Gareth, hey. And they'll greet him from all the way across Front Square just to get him to wave hello. Connell's seen it. People used to like me, he feels, saying as a joke. I used to be on the football team. No one laughed at that joke there. Can I get you a drink, says Gareth. Connell has a six pack of cider with him, but he's reluctant to do anything that would draw attention to his backpack in case Gareth might feel prompted to comment on it further. Cheers, he says. Gareth navigates over to the table on the side of the room and returns with a bottle of Corona. This okay? says Gareth. Connell looks at him for a second, wondering if the question is ironic or genuinely servile. Unable to decide, Connell says, yeah, it'll do, thanks. People in college are like this, unpleasantly smug one minute, and then abasing themselves to show off their good manners the next. He sips a beer while Gareth watches him. Without any apparent sarcasm, Gareth grins and says, enjoy. So it's very... As I said, very sparse writing, there's no frills, there's nothing of that, but you do feel like that is something that would happen in reality. Um, and the characters feel like someone who is happening in reality and I just loved it. I kept reading out little sections, little things um, to Tom when I was reading it, just even though they aren't that kind of beautiful, wonderful, really fantastic use of words that I love, there was something else there that I really loved and it was something that just hit me in all the right places. Um, I really recommend that you read Normal People. If you're going to read any one of the Man Booker books this year, try it. You might not like it, you might find that it's too sparse or it's just not your thing, but it's definitely worth trying because on paper this wouldn't have been my thing even in the slightest and I adored it. Um, yeah, if you've read Normal People and you want to gush about it, I'm all the way here for that. Um, so leave a comment down below. And if you haven't read it and you're thinking about it, um, please comment so I can convince you further. Um, and I'll see you guys again soon in another video. Bye bye.